Good morning and welcome back to my channel, friends. So if you live in an apartment and uh, if it has multiple floors and if you are at the 13th floor of the apartment, this is what you get to see. I hope you will see that within this tough lockdown period, we Indians are, have kept our spirits high and we've tried to fight as hard as possible to defeat this virus which is claiming lives day by day. So during this lockdown, I thought I'll make a short video about men's best friends, the shows what he uses or wears. Now, we'll talk about the branded ones, uh, the ones which are available in the market, which is below the price of 5,000 rupees. So, today's sample I have taken is a Nike, a Sketcher, and the sport shoe by Xiaomi, named as Xiaomi Sports Two, a sport, sport shoe two, the second iteration of the of its shoe model. The whole idea of bringing this uh, video is not only talk about the brands or the looks or the comfort but to also explain how this industry and uh, you know the shoe manufacturers have evolved over the years and how they have made shoes which meet your requirement as well as make good business sense to them. So over to the collection of shoes, now you can see. Before that, just have a look at this video which I have shot from a balcony, I am sure you are definitely going to like it. Uh, anyway, we started talking about shoes. So let us talk something about the history of shoes. As you might have read in your school that the shoes was first uh, or the concept of covering your feet was first found out by the Chinese. There's a whole story. I'm not very sure about this, but I've read it in the school that there was a king who used to who found it very difficult walking barefoot. So he once he ordered that entire uh, land area of his his pathway should be covered with a carpet. So there was one gentleman in this court who said, "Sir, instead of covering the carpet, uh, covering the ground with carpet, if you can cover your feet, if I can create something for your feet, then it will be easier for you." So thereby the concept of shoe or whatever the primary primitive uh, concept came into being. Now, coming down to the uh, earlier times, earlier times which I'm talking about so 80s and 90s, when you had very few companies making shoes, one of them, the premium ones, only Bata, and then was the subsidiary of it named as Bata's shoe company, BSC. Now, I remember they used to have this uh, canvas shoe, the white ones, which we used to get for the PT. And I still remember it used to be very durable. It used to last long. Then came the private enterprises. You know, it came out with, uh, I think, Action Shoes, the pre-molded designs like Action. There were a lot of other companies 
uh, who came de- came in after the 90s, uh, uh, in the starting of the 90s, um, you know, early 90s. Uh, then came also Woodland. So uh, again, out of all these, they 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 recreated the entire industry, uh, you know, by different designs, different colors, uh, different models, uh, and you know that it was a basically a revolution. Just like uh, something what happened to the two-wheel industry, we only had Rajdhut, Bullet and Java. And all of a sudden, you know, you, the likes of Hero Honda, uh, In Suzuki, Yamaha, so many new generations, something, something on those lines. Now, <clears throat> uh, with Woodland, uh, at that point of time, Woodland was supposed to be a premium brand because it, it was a, you know, you had to pay uh, the regular, the, brand, the, the, the main model of Woodland. Uh, which had this leather strap and the, uh, was priced as 1400 is what I remember. Now, I at that moment, we, we all aspired to own one. It was quite uh, premium for us to own at that point of time. But I remember seeing that the uniqueness about the, that shoe was that the, the sole used to be very, extremely durable. Like whatever will happen, ha- will happen to the top of the, the, the top of the shoe. Nothing normally goes wrong with the sole. And that was applicable to most of the brands at that point of time. And so the durability of the shoe was quite long because if it has to tear, then it has to tear from the top. And then you always had the uh, a local cobbler who would like do another um, stitching and it can still be made longer. It's only after those periods and I, I have I've been regularly buying and I, I somehow have had a keen eye on this. What they started doing was the, the industry. Now the the shoe manufacturers saw that you know the a person an average life of a shoe is slightly longer because of their sole. Because the if the sole cracks, you can't do anything. Whereas if this anything goes wrong with the top, it can always be stitched. <clears throat> I think I might be wrong, but I have experienced it. <clears throat> the woodland shoes from. 90s or the that point of time what you have bought and then after the sole <clears throat> the top used to be absolutely okay the sole started you know uh, having worn out pretty soon I mean if you are wearing uh, shoes for 6 months it will you know you will see the sole uh, which was not there earlier I mean I am talking about the basic model of Woodland which was the flagship model that, that one with the leather leather strap <clears throat> yeah there are obviously other models which are very rock solid i would not say that but i'm talking about the one which which is was that uh, they used to call it the, the lighter yellow uh, cream color sole anyway i saw it and i have then after i i bought and i i, I seen that after every new purchase the life of the sole started getting worse and then there was no other substitute for the sole even the wooden company would not give you a sole. If anything turns up on the top, they can repair and give it to you. But they will not change you, change the sole, even if you are willing to pay for it. So I realized that, okay, the, so now they have shifted. So what happens was, now if you buy a shoe and using it for say, two years or three years, now that life, uh, the, the rack life or the life cycle of the shoe was reduced to around one, one and a half years at the maximum. You just can't wear it beyond that because the entire soul would be playing by that time. So I I had a feeling that this could be a you know very smart uh, uh, you know sales gimmick or maybe sales strategy uh, for the companies, which okay. Uh, but as a consumer, I re- did realize that okay, this is something which they have done, and they have successfully been doing it. So fair enough. So I have no, uh, I would not say no complaints, but yes, you uh, you. You can only buy what you get. So, I mean, you, and then I have not gone uh, beyond a, a certain budget. So, uh, budgets has been around something around, say, below 5,000, 1,500, 2,500 to 5,000. That's a fairly decent range of, but all these shoes, mind you, all these shoes which I have bought, and all of them, the sole goes first. That top, I have not had any complaint with the top of the shoe for the past so many years, I don't remember any of the tops uh, getting torn off or, you know, except for, okay, except for the, the, the bad, uh, you know, uh, this thing which I had, experience which I had with the riding shoes uh, from 
uh, to other companies okay they uh, they still are making it and you know i know people are buying it so i you know uh, could be that that works for them nevertheless but regular sneaker shoes or the regular like i'm not talking about the leather ones even the leather ones i had had bad experiences i mean experiences with Likoper, the earlier models were quite durable. Later on, they started making very uh, designer kind of a stuff. But then the sole was again. Sole goes, so you have to reject it. So there's no other way uh, left. It even applies to uh, premium brands like uh, Hush Puppies from Bata. It's on the premium side of the pricing. <clears throat> Top is rock solid. Sole is, it's become like, a, you know, wet atta. <laughs> so, you have to be very careful. So I've experienced those, and till now, that shoes at the top is like the leather is as as sturdy as that. It's so supple, so comfortable, but the sole is gone. <clears throat> anyway, so today I will just talk about two three uh, shoes which I have been using for quite some time. The one one is with uh, the brands which I am going to talk about today is uh, Nike, uh, Skechers, and a shoe by Xiaomi. Uh, named as sport shoe 2 the 2 iteration number 2 so these are the three uh, brands i will be talking about so let me just show you uh, the shoes the the collection just consider three numbers although i have other pairs also but they are in flighty and a bad shape and so i just wanted to basically tell you what i have experienced so let me just take you to that so uh, friends, the first shoe which I am going to take uh, now is the one with from Nike. Now you can sh see this is the shoes from Nike. I bought it a uh, year and half I think but was sparingly using it. Uh, but then uh, after some time it was being used by my wife too uh, while going for gym. And... Uh, uh, it's sparingly used. I mean, it's not that regularly used. But see, only after one year or, uh, you know, uh, around one, one, yeah, I think it's one, 1.5 years. After six, seven, eight months, what I f started feeling that the entire sole of the shoe, now you can see, I'll just show you. The sole, see, you can see the sole. You see this? It's all coming off, see. It's all coming off. This is omnipresent to various uh, Nike shoes as well as Reebok ones which I have bought earlier. What These are all, uh, you know, uh, molded ones but then they have this, the, the final layer which is being pasted on the shoes. So what happens is that this tends to come out after few uses. See, I have all, what I have done is I have used super glue and pasted it but with super glue, it does not stay because super glue is not flexible. So once you paste this and if this has to move like this, you know it while walking then again it tends to come off you just can't avoid it because it's all been pasted using super glue but again if you can see it's again coming off so it will not stay with super glue so the whereas the top is absolutely spick and span there's no problem it's a very comfortable uh, shoes to wear and it's been very uh, a very attractive color too and that's why i bought this uh, this i bought for some 4500 i think uh, and now see this is a condition now the sole does not stay you know even if see the one part this part of the sole is i don't know where it's gone it's, it's vanished something like this was there here so it's vanished it's not there so you probably miss it out and i have found this in these kind of branded shoes uh you know they they don't last uh, you probably if you are really using it well i i mean in in the real true sense I am doubtful whether it's going to last beyond six to eight months if you use it the way you know but I have been sparing you use it so probably it has lasted me a one and a half uh, you know uh, one plus years uh, like that so this is one so uh, I started off with Nike and I have had similar expenses with uh, Reebok too so Nike this is probably the fourth or fifth pair I have been using I've got another pair which what I've done is I actually got the sole stitched it looks awkward, uh, you know, but because stitch appears somewhere here, uh, it does not look good. But I've used, I've kept it like that because was uh, you just use it in the gym if you are going there. So, but this one I could, I did not do because it looks, it looks really bad. Now, anyway, I've missed out the this piece, so I don't know. 
it will just last for another couple of months now so this is it for the nike next comes the renowned uh, shoe sketches now i am sure that most of you uh, would definitely have heard about this brand and uh, definitely would have at one point or other either owned it or you want to own it it's again a premium shoe uh, i have bought it for 4500 so uh, <clears throat> there was no discount they don't offer any discounts on it so you have to buy it at the mrp although the nike's and all you might get some discount or the other uh, but you will not see the condition of the sole this again is a one year plus shoe uh it is a comfortable shoe i don't know but maybe uh, i am being old school or whatever but it's too soft for my liking it is too soft see the entire sole this area is very rugged nothing has happened to this and i am sure there's nothing is going to happen to this also but see as i was explaining earlier the sole is gone you know it's it's just worn out just worn out it's absolutely worn out you see this sole now uh, you might also slip wearing it so again that is uh, an issue i somehow uh, uh i i will not buy another pair of sketches because it's too soft for my liking the entire you know with the it feels as if your legs are like floating in uh, you know uh, it's like floating inside the shoe it does not uh, give you that grip or the, the entire thing is very lightweight this is also very soft so somehow I, i'm not very happy with this uh, uh, shoes by uh, sketches although it's very very uh, uh, fashionably in but okay this also doesn't uh you know uh, come to my uh it, it, it does not give me any uh, happiness on you know owning uh, owning again another pair so this is again uh, one more pair so i'll throw this up now uh, now i'll come to another uh, pair of shoes now this is a non uh, uh shoe my my fashion company this is Xiaomi shoes by Xiaomi now they are into multi products so uh, this was a shoe which was launched a year before and i got it uh, so this is a shoe let me just show you the shoe now this is a shoe i'm talking about this is a uh, Xiaomi uh, me sport shoe 2 iteration so uh, this is a shoe which uh, they have launched and i i have done a review of this uh, in my previous uh, video if you Uh, want to see probably you can uh, check out the videos on that now this shoe has got the the something which sketches does not have i mean why i am telling you that is that i'll just show you now it has got the top of sketches very very soft it's very soft you can see it's very stretchable it's stretchable enough and it's coupled with a very hard sole you know the sole is hard stuff so if you wear the shoes you are you know you you're sure that you know even you know if you're walking on a rough surface you know that the the, the 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 it's not that you will feel that surface on on your feet it's kind of tough the sole is tough this is all called tough so this is the xiaomi 2 now the beauty of this shoes is one first and the foremost thing is the pricing i got it at uh, crowdfunding price at 2500 again this was not being used i mean i was i had bought it but i did not use it but of late i've been using it uh, uh the only demerit what it has now i i should talk about uh, definitely it's a, it seems to be very durable shoe i've uh, been using it for some time now although i bought it earlier but uh, i'm trying to use it regularly now uh, the only demerit of this which i have felt maybe you know uh, i have seen couple of reviews of uh, the Xiaomi shoes by other uh, youtubers as well uh that uh this tends to slip on polished surfaces when i say polished surfaces like like for example the tiles if you have water on this you know if it's wet this tends to slip more than a regular nike or you know sketches or what i don't know what could be the reason probably because this is being very hard is what i felt it might it seems be hard and it does not you know to probably try to take the grip there it tends to slip 
more is what I have felt. Otherwise, it's a fantastic shoe for that price. Uh, well made shoe. Then uh, now they are also going to come up with the iteration number three. That is me sports shoe number three is what I've heard they're going to come out with. So we'll have to give it a try. So uh, this is this. Uh, this is the shoes, a collection of shoes what I was talking about. Uh, so as of now, this is the uh, one which I I feel is good. Uh, especially for the price and the comfort which it offers.